It's like when you work at something for a long time and then come into a family of people who support what you do, um, you're very lucky. I had a vision of making my life a work of art and I was looking for people who also felt that way. Find someone who has a life that you want and figure out how they got it. Read books, pick your role models wisely, find out what they did and do it. I think, you know, you just don't negotiate. When it comes to your work, you just stand totally firm and take the consequences. I've been really blessed, actually, more than most, to have um, really uh, good people around me. Art support. Well, I think I have like a, I think I have a a little bit of a connection with young women in a way, or women that some people might not expect, or see right off the bat and I think there's like a very thoughtful group of people who are you know the kind of people who read between the lines and know that like the stuff that people put out it's not all about just rhyming words together or you know a simple melody like there's a there's an intention that comes through so I feel like it's met somewhere with a like-minded little group of people and there's a lot of a lot of eclectic folks out there it's like when you work at something for a long time and then come into a family of people who support what you do, um, you're very lucky. I had a vision of making my life a work of art and I was looking for people who also felt that way. Find someone who has a life that you want and figure out how they got it. Read books, pick your role models wisely, find out what they did and do it. I think if you surround yourself with the right people, everything's magic. But I also believe boundaries create miracles, so stay away from the beauty standards. I, th I regret ever being scared. If I, if I could go back, I would tell myself there's nothing to be afraid of and absolutely nothing happens by accident in God's world. But like I've never been somebody who like turned away from really hard work. So like I'm I'm always willing to put the footwork in. Like with the mixing, if it takes eight months, I will mix for eight months. If the master doesn't come back right, like I'll find someone else to do it. And with the personal stuff, I mean, if I feel like I'm just not getting it right, like I'll just keep on trying different things until I feel like I'm hitting my stride. But we're just beautiful people with beautiful problems beautiful problems god knows we've got them let me just try doubling that for a second um in that department but i mean it's not i don't know finding your own path is not for the faint of heart it's the harder path it's easier to just like keep doing the same shit over and over again and then be surprised when like it's still the same and it's the same same results somehow that's easier than just doing something different i never feel like i'm like not where i'm supposed to be you know because i think no matter who i'm with i'm always still doing my own thing i'm definitely on my own path and uh you know, I love the idea of honoring that and and feeling like there's a real merit to turning inward and like asking yourself, what do I what do I want to write today? Like, should I even be writing today or how do I want to be creative? Because sometimes I want to do something else that I'm not even good at. It's like doing what whatever feels right in the moment and then sticking with the sticking with the good the good ones out there, finding your little crew and um, mm -hmm. yeah. Figuring out what's what's important. I think, I, I guess, probably probably different for everybody, but sure. I mean, I get to make music every day, so that's kind of crazy. Amazing. But I have yeah. to say, I think I'd probably be happy doing like almost anything at this point. I've been, you know, very lucky to um, follow my muse for the last 18 years since I was 18, and. Um, you know, sometimes that takes, for, for me as an artist, that's taken me like super far away from music into other mediums and other job opportunities that have nothing to do with the arts at all. And um, 
I'm very flexible, and I really love that, you know, what I've come to understand is that if you follow what you're interested in, you'll end up being the most creative in that field, even if, you know, get a nine to five after you got the decade award. I'm just gonna do whatever feels right. Um, I always like to say that the way I live my life is my poetry, my love making is my legacy, and I get to make music in between. Turning criticism into something that you can reflect upon and sort of understand why certain things are being reflected back to you and, and learn from it and apply it to your family history and sort of understand how to grow out, outside of the music life and kind of, you know, I always say like, how free do you want to be? And it, for me, it takes a lot, you know, especially when there's a lot of opinions. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. You know, sometimes I do think that just being at home and thinking about my contribution being, you know, it's a very 60s sentiment, but having good vibrations, good intentions, good personal actions, knowing where I want to go personally and feeling good about that. I feel like that it, that is my contribution to society and I feel like it has a larger impact. Grateful for all the criticism. I get a lot. <laughs> and and um, you know what's 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 good about it is like I really believe that what's reflected back to you is in some way a mirror to what's going on in your inner life and it's given me a huge opportunity to look inward and to look at my family of origin, look at my lineage, see what's going on up there. <laughs> and um, actually on that note, I'd like to take a minute and think about my grandma who fell ill to two days ago. And um, I think, you know, you just don't negotiate when it comes to your work. You just, or your art, you just stand totally firm and take the consequences. I mean, I was more sensitive like, about it I can then, be a little bit of a people pleaser, you so, so I much feel like, prove. you know, I, I, I am more eclectic chances. than, like, no, most like of my real. friends, so... I mean, I would, I, I, I guess, consider it like, just doing time, like, just whatever careful. it is I feel like you know, doing like, in a given moment. collabs or sponsorship.